What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday and in today's episode we're going to be talking about frog fishing. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so today we are talking about frog fishing and I figured I would do this video today because we have been slaying them on the frog. Sorry if there's some wind coming on to the, the uh, audio here. It's kind of windy but this is the best place we have to film it so we're just going to film it here. Um, so today we're talking about frog fishing. Um, this frog is a popping frog and we've basically been using it in this thick, thick, thick matted stuff back here. You can just see it. It's nothing but pure, pure mats of grass. And we've been pulling. We've had tons of hits. We should have quite a few fish in the boat today, but we've had a lot of missed hits. But we have put um, quite a few in the boat from the frog today. So today I just wanted to talk about frog fishing, what I do, how simple it is. It's real simple, but a lot of people have issues fishing a frog. So we're going to get into it. So the first thing, you're just going to cast it out there, obviously. And um, for beginners, I always say if you're going to fish a frog, you should always keep your rod tip high when you're popping that frog along. Because then if a bass hits, you have to spend time reeling down to get tension on there and then setting the hook. So that should give you enough time by the time uh, you reel down for that fish to uh, grab that frog in its mouth all the way. Um, but you pretty much, all you're going to do is zing the frog out there. And you can either keep your rod tip high, which is what I always say for beginners, or you can keep it down low, which is how I work a frog, and I just pop it along. And all I do is usually like a one-two pop, just pop it twice, let it sit, pop it twice, let it sit, and just reel it in. Real simple. Sometimes I pick up the pace if I'm trying to cover water quickly and just find fish. I mean, I'll just walk the dog with the frog constantly. Or if I'm trying to see if those fish are just being kind of lethargic for the day, I'll just cast it out there and I'll just pop it twice, let it sit, pop it twice, let it sit, stuff like that. Um, another thing I wanted to cover with the frog is when you're fishing this thick matted stuff, you'll see these openings in between the mats. And what you want to do when you're popping a frog through there is when you get into those openings, you want to spend a little more time in those openings and uh, let that frog, when you pop it through the opening, just let it sit in the opening a little longer than you would on fully matted grass. Um, because that's going to give those bass a clear shot at, at the frog and it's definitely going to improve your hookup ratio. Alright guys, so when you get a hit, when a bass finally strikes the frog, he's going to come up out of the water, strike this frog. Now when he brings it down, most of the time, he's not even going to have it all the way in his mouth. So you really got to give him that 2-3 seconds to grab the frog all the way, get it worked in, and set the hook. So what I always say is, if you're popping the frog along and you're working your rod tip high, you know, by the time you reel down and set the hook, he should have it in his mouth. But if you're popping the rod tip low like I do, um, I basically, I'm just looking for that frog, making sure the frog is gone. I'll reel up my slack. Once I realize that the frog is gone, by that time, I can usually set the hook. A good another, a good another rule is counting in your head. After that, after that bass hits the frog and you know he's got it, counting one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000 usually two to three seconds of counting and he should have it worked in there. You definitely want to give him time. That's a huge mistake that a lot of people make when they're first fishing a frog is they definitely set the hook right away, rip the frog right out of the mouth, don't even get hooks in it, the uh, bass never comes back to hit it. So make sure you're giving that fish plenty of time to eat that frog. Right, guys, so there you have it. I hope that uh, those tips helped. Um, if you guys have any other frogging tips that you do yourselves, drop them in the comments below for someone who wants to see it. And I'd love to see what you guys do if you guys have any other tips that I did not cover with frogging. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, keep fishing hard.